Are you ready to take your organization to the next level and become a game changer in your industry? Then look no further. Welcome to Yokai Business Show, where we bring you the world's top business thought leaders to share their secrets to success, from leadership development to finance, marketing, self-development, human resource management, and much, much more. Our guests reveal the strategies, tactics, and mindsets that have made them so successful. So let's dive in and learn from the best in the business. Hello and welcome to another special episode on your kind business show. I'm thrilled that you have carved out some time in your busy schedule today to listen into uh, one of our great uh, guests. As always, we love bringing you some of the experts that are really, truly, and truly making a huge impact in our world today, in the world of business. And today is no different because my guest today has been uh, at it uh, for several years. In fact, has developed critical skills that are required to pursue what we're going to be talking about. In fact, we're going to be exploring the necessary critical skills uh, needed today. Uh, And again, before we jump into the conversation, I want to encourage you to uh, join the conversations that is going on in our community today, if you're already a member of the community. And if you're not a member of the community, you want to click the link below this recording uh, and you'll be taken directly into our podcast community. There you'll find some amazing people, amazing previous guests on the show, and also people who just love what we are talking about several groups going on there and uh, i'm always there and uh, my business partners are always there and also uh, our guests are always there so make sure to to uh, to jump in into the conversation because you never know what you discover during those uh, conversation now back to our guest here today once again thank you so much for joining us here truly appreciate uh, you know, you're, you're sparing some time to talk to us uh, today. Now, to get us started, could you tell us a little bit about yourself in terms of your background, education, and experience in this uh, area? And uh, while at it, uh, do share, uh, you know, what has made you a success? Because uh, I know a lot of people have tried to do what you're doing here, but have not had success. If you were to single out one thing that you've done consistently, and uh, has produced a tremendous result for you to develop these critical skills. That would be amazing. My name is Shahab Anari. I'm an ICF accredited coach trainer and a personal branding expert. Uh, About my background, believe it or not, I used to be a medical doctor. I trained as a medical doctor 20 something years ago in Iran, where I'm originally from. But then after a few years, I realized I'm not passionate about medicine. So I quit that uh, career and dived into my passion, which is training, speaking, and coaching. I've been at it for the past 20-something years in in different countries, and I would say in different continents, in Iran, the Netherlands, and Canada. And specifically in the field of coaching, I've been a professional coach myself for the past nine years, And right now, I own an ICF accredited coach training program where we certify professional coaches. We teach them professional coaching skills, and also we teach them how to get clients. Wow, that's an incredible experience (laughs) that you've had on there. Now, let's dive deep into uh, the purpose of our conversation. In your opinion, uh, having worked with uh, several number of people, you know, what is the first skill every business owner needs to develop when it comes to this area? And maybe you can talk about why this skill is important and perhaps uh, the best way to develop uh, these skills. Well, coach, I believe there are two things that one needs to do. Number one, one needs to learn the professional coaching competencies. So the biggest organization in the world that uh, overlooks the coaching profession is the ICF, International Coaching Profession. And ICF uh, has provided a framework of competencies for professional coaches worldwide that they can learn and implement in their coaching practice. 
Right now, the framework is about eight different competencies that a professional coach needs to possess. Competencies such as uh, evoking the awareness in the client or listening actively to the client or creating a, an environment of trust with the client and so on and so forth. Uh, and there's also a code of ethics that professional coaches need to adhere to. So number one is the competencies, because anybody can call themselves a coach, but professional coaches who are certified and who are knowledgeable and skillful at their craft are those who are really good at these professional coaching competencies. Number two, if one wants to become a successful professional coach, especially a professional business coach, they need to learn marketing and sales. They need to know how to sell. And this is something that a lot of professional coaches struggle with because uh, they have limiting beliefs around sales and they sometimes think that they're not born a natural seller or a natural salesman and uh, they sometimes think that too much money is not good or salespeople are sleazy people and so on and so forth. Uh, and a lot of coaches, let's be honest, they come from different backgrounds and not all of them uh, come from business backgrounds. They're not familiar with the concepts of marketing, sales, persuasion, the psychology of selling and so on and so forth. So to summarize, for a successful uh, for a professional coach to become successful, number one, they need to learn the competencies and become very good at them. And number two, they need to learn marketing and sales. Outstanding. Uh, I just want to talk to, to you, Bill, listening in the audience today, and maybe uh, a lot of other people listening. What we've just discovered there in that critical skill, if you were to master that, uh, I know that we're going to be talking about other skill sets here you will see incredible difference in what you're going to do. It may be a, a, a slow start, but it's surely as the sun rises in the morning, you're going to see the difference. So I want to encourage you, if you're taking notes, to put a circle around it. If you are listening in the car, make a mental note to that, uh, you know, and find a way of making sure you implement what you're discovering here today. Let's dive deep into the second skill that uh, you think you know, uh, business owners needs to develop at this stage. And maybe while we're at it, we could talk about uh, the tools or the website or the app that makes this critical skill development a breeze. Uh, and uh, maybe we could also explore, you know, if anybody gets stuck uh, in developing this skill, what can they actually do? Uh, right there and there. I know I've asked the three questions there, but uh, it would be great if we could answer all those and really give people what actually works. Uh, I have a methodology around how you can build your personal brand, get more clients and make more impact. And I call it the three C's. And I talk about this methodology in my book, which became a bestseller on Amazon. And the name of the book is The How of Personal Branding. The methodology is called three C's. And the three C's stand for clarity, communication, and closing. So clarity means, are you very clear about your value proposition? Are you 100% clear about what you do, who you do it for, and how you're different? In other words, your value proposition. What's your unique promise of value? A lot of coaches, uh, are struggling because they don't have a unique promise of value. They're just coaches. They say, I'm a professional coach. I can help anybody and everybody. And honestly, that doesn't work in the marketplace because people are looking for specialists with specialized knowledge, with lived experience, who have been there and have done that, uh, who they can trust. So the first piece is clarity around value proposition. The second piece is communication, which is a fancy word for marketing, your marketing mix. Do you have uh, a list of different marketing strategies that you have put into plan and you have them blocked on your calendar and you commit to doing them consistently day in and day out? So it's all about 
a marketing mix and a written down, scheduled, well thought out marketing plan for your business. Because the reality of many coaches is that they're not familiar with these different marketing strategies. They, they do random stuff. They wake up in the morning and uh, you know, kneel to the ground and hope to the sky that uh, a client calls them or a potential client walks into the door of their office. And you and I know that that doesn't work. We need to have a system in place, a system that we can count on. So uh, that's the importance of communication, aka marketing. And the third C is closing, which means sales. Are you familiar with the psychology of selling? Uh, do you know how to convince your prospects to reach into their pockets and bring out their credit cards and hand you the money? And I'm not talking about manipulation. I'm not talking about uh, lying to people. No. How can you sell effectively, ethically, without manipula manipulation, but at the same time, effortlessly? How can you do that? And it's all through learning the concepts of persuasion, influence, psychology of sales. And I believe uh, a professional coach can reach really good heights. And in my personal experience, they can reach a million dollars in revenue every year just by learning these three Cs, clarity, communication, and closing. Of course, they, they want to go past the $1 million mark uh, and they want to scale their business. Then they need the you know, the team and, you know, uh, you know, the other systems that they need to put in place. But I believe up to a million dollars in revenue every year, if you take care of clarity, communication and closing, you'll be good to go. Awesome. Awesome. And now on to our third and final uh, skill that you as a business owner, Bill, uh, ought to develop. I know we are only covering three in this because I know you will carry on the conversation in the uh, community to discover more things. But what we are doing here is just highlight the bigger and the broader skill sets that you certainly need to develop. Coming back to you. Why is it important to develop the next skill that we are talking about right now? And maybe you'll explore what that skill is and, uh, and really give uh, Bill and everybody in the audience now more detail on how to do this very thing. And again, if people get stuck in this, are there any tools? Are there any uh, websites? And is there a quicker way of developing this that you have discovered, which perhaps a lot of people haven't, <laughs> because I know uh, experts have got a way of finding this out. Do share uh, with everybody here uh, so that they know what to do next. Mentors, William Aruda, who is one of the founding fathers of the personal branding industry, uh, taught me. And it's his three C's methodology. And he talks about clarity, consistency, and constancy. He says that if we want to be successful as an entrepreneur, especially in terms of branding, we need to have three things in place. Clarity, consistency, and constancy. Clarity, again, goes back to the clarity of your message. What's your message in the market? What's your unique promise of value? Consistency is about the consistency of your visual identity and consistency of your content. So meaning you're not talking about random things every day. Uh, there, is a, there is an under, underlying theme that runs through your content. And also visually, when people look at your brand, there is some consistency there as well. And the third C is constancy, which is obvious. You have to be constant. You need to be consistently and constantly out there, produce material, put yourself out there through social media content, writing blogs and articles, uh, presenting uh, at conferences, speaking at events, uh, showing up at networking events, and so on and so forth, so that people get to know, like, and trust you over time. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Having covered all these three uh, skill sets, you know, I, uh, I think if you master those three, 
uh, as a listener today and you schedule it to do over the next 90 days, uh, you will see a dramatic change in what you're trying to do. And uh, you know what? Again, if you need any help with these things, you can reach out uh, to uh, the team in the community or reach out to uh, directly using the web link uh, below uh, to uh, the expert uh, right now. Let's uh, go a little bit deeper. I just cannot resist this uh, to, <laughs> to explore. You know, are there any other major skills at this point that perhaps, uh, you know, business owners need to know that we haven't covered uh, at all during this conversation. Third, uh, these fundamentals, the next step for them would be uh, becoming really good at advertising and team building because that's the only way to scale and to grow bigger. You can do only so much during the day. So you need a team and you need uh, ads in order to become uh, big and grow past a certain stage. So team building and advertising, I would say. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, uh, thank you. Truly, thank you. It, one of the things I've discovered, even in my own journey, that uh, has helped me and is helping a lot of people in our community, it is uh, the tools that are available in today. You know, some of the tools when I started, for example, in podcasting that have made things easier, uh, you know, we're not there. Right now, we've got a, a tremendous amount of technology, including the AI. So, you know, in your opinion, having uh, been in this industry for a while and helping thousands of people, uh, are there any specific tools uh, or websites or apps that uh, you think uh, will be very beneficial to the listeners today? I'd love to hear of them. And if you could sh share that uh, with everybody today technologies, apps, and tools that a professional coach can use to deliver their services and to streamline uh, their business growth and development. But one thing that primarily comes to my mind is obviously Zoom, which has made our visual communication uh, much easier than past. And the other uh, tool is Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I, which is a really wonderful all-in-one online marketing platform. Awesome. I'm absolutely loving this. I uh, just want to switch gear for a moment here uh, you know, and talk about mindset. You know, experience and even in conversation that I have with other business owners here in the community uh, has shown me that having a certain mindset when it comes to these things uh, is somewhat can be a decisive factor for success or failure. In your experience as the expert in this area, what do you think is the perfect mindset business owners uh, needs to have or they must have in order to develop the, the skill sets that we were talking about throughout our time here together? Dr. Carol Dweck says in, in her book, Mindset, there's a ton of difference in the kind of results that people get when they have a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. So when you have a growth mindset, it's all about trying, learning from mistakes, and getting feedback, and becoming better the next time. Uh, and in contrast, when you have a fixed mindset, you are afraid of trying because you fear being judged, you fear uh, failure, and that's what keeps you paralyzed. So growth mindset is key to success in any field of endeavor, including business. But specifically for professional coaches, I would say the mindset around sales and, uh, you know, marketing, that's the key part, I believe, that uh, hinders the success of many professional coaches because they have these limiting beliefs, as I mentioned before, around money, marketing, sales, and salespeople, uh, which keeps them stuck and sometimes bitter because they see uh, the successful coaches out there who are good at marketing and sales uh, zooming past by them and you know earning huge revenues, but they're stuck in their place and they, 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 they can't get past a certain income level. So I would say the main 
aspect of mindset for professional coaches that they need to work on is their mindset around sales, marketing, and money. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. I'm sure, Abil, you're taking note of those. Again, what we'll try to do is condense these tools and put them in the blog or in the write-up right at the bottom of this recording so that you can have easy access to them because what we are experiencing here is absolute pure gold here. And uh, we're so grateful for that. Uh, we are certainly coming toward the end of our time here together, but uh, I never want to uh, close it without giving you <laughs> an opportunity to share with us anything uh, that I haven't asked you, but that you feel as the expert is an absolute must for uh, business owners, for people to have or to know about uh, if they are going to increase their chances of success. Is there anything uh, that I haven't asked you today that you feel the audience needs to know about? Uh, the most important things so far, but I have a ton of other free material on my own website, shahab.website, and on my social media channels as well, so people can find more info and more free stuff and free education uh, on my platforms as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for a great interview. Truly, this has been uh, outstanding. And I never want to finish our time together here without uh, giving you an opportunity to share with everybody how they can connect with you. And I know many of, uh, of uh, our listeners here will be sending messages in the community right now as we speak uh, to, to, to connect with you or even ask follow-up questions. So where can people uh, con uh, connect with you? The easiest place, maybe it's your website or any social media. Would you uh, share with everybody here today? Uh, folks can visit my website, shahab.website. We offer private coaching services, uh, training programs, and also I'm the co-founder of a publishing agency, which is called North Star Success, where we help folks write, uh, publish, and market their books. Uh, and we sometimes even run multi-author books where folks can submit a chapter and become published author within uh, the span of a few months. So folks, please check out my web web website, shahab.website and feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Awesome, awesome. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What a great conversation we've just had here. A truly life-changing information that when you apply it in your life, you will see true results. And again, uh, if you are struggling with any of the area that we have uh, talked about here today, go back into uh, the community. You can ask questions. Uh, you will get support. Uh, from your fellow uh, listeners, and I'll be in there. My team will be in there. My business partners uh, will be in there as well. Uh, and uh, would you actually, before we jump off, uh, share with everybody how you too uh, are going to be helping people beyond this recording in the community? We certainly would love to do that. Uh, and um, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to leave you with this. I live well, live with passion. Know that the best is truly, truly yet to come. Goodbye, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Thank you for tuning in to Yokai Business Show. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode and have gained valuable insights and inspiration from our amazing guest. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review to help us spread the word. Also, be sure to check out our Leadership Outmate Success Mastermind program, which is designed to help you and leaders in our community to do great things and support each other along their leadership journey. Until next time, live well, live with passion, know that the best is truly yet to come.